2019 Toyota Camry Hybrid and you are tuned into V8 TV. Now, most of you might have already been inside one of these Camrys. The question that you want me to answer is how well and how different is the hybrid drive from a regular car? That is exactly what we're going to find out. First off, everything else stays perfectly normal. Everything is just the way that you have it on any regular car. You have all your game features over here. You've got your park reverse, neutral and drive, and you've got all the other stuff that goes on over here. That stays constant. There's no difference in that. You've also got your same stuff, your speedometer. The only difference is that your RPM meter is now changed with a gauge that has charge, eco and power mode instead of your RPM meter. And you also get an MFD display in the center that basically shows you what sort of energy that you're using. Are you using the battery? Are you using the engine? Or are you using regenerative braking to charge the batteries up? That information is not something that you definitely need to be looking at. It's sort of the information that is good to have and uh, it's more of an FYI and it's not got to be something with exactly what you're driving. So let's show you how it's going to drive. This is the first time that I'm driving a hybrid as well. So I'm new to, very new to this experience as well. So let's see how this car works and uh, I will take you around for the drive, see how this does. All right, so we put it in reverse and you also obviously got a uh, rear reverse camera with trackers. So we take out and the, the thing that you'll immediately notice is All right, so I'm not sure how well the camera has managed to get that, but you can literally whisper inside the new Camry and you won't hear a thing from the coming from the car. Um, now, the, the good question that you might have in your mind is, when does the electric, when does the gas powered engine, when does the petrol power engine really kick in? So there are multiple calculations that Toyota has put together to understand when does the gas power engine, when does the petrol power engine come in? And one of the things that they've devised is, the moment you put your foot down and the moment you go above 40 kilometers per, per hour, that's what I'm noticing from the time that I've been driving this car. The moment you go above 40 kilometers per hour is when the motor kicks in. Apart from that, you're always driving on the battery and that really helps you save a lot of fuel. What Toyota has done really well with this car is that the mix between and the transition between a battery and a petrol power is seamless. You really don't uh, feel it and you don't really uh, notice as to when the battery is when, when, the, when you're running on battery and when you're running on engine power and I think that's a great thing especially for new drivers that are driving on a hybrid. Apart from that it drives like any other normal car uh, there's nothing else that difference to it. So you have this display over here the displays that I was telling you about. So right now the engine is driving the wheels and the battery and the moment I let go of the accelerator pedal the wheels then start charging the battery and one of the other things that a lot of people have confusion about the hybrid is how do you charge this car? How do you charge? It's an electric car, so how do you charge it? And that is a big myth that I am trying to bust is this car does not need to be charged. This is not the car that needs to be plugged in overnight. This is not the car that needs to be plugged in to a wall socket for you to charge it. The car charges on two principles. One is regenerative braking. So the moment you let go of your uh, of, of the accelerator and the moment you start pressing your brake, it starts charging. And you can see it on the gauge over here. The moment I press my brake, the charging sheet really goes up. The charging display really goes up. The other way that the, that the motors is charged is, the other way that the battery is charged is using the engine power. So there are a lot of these times when the engine is actually driving the car and charging the battery at the same time. So when you're doing high speeds, when you're like 100, 120, when you're on Sheikh Zayed, the engine is actually charging your battery and it's also driving the car. You also got this infotainment system that definitely looks the part and uh, you've got a volume knob over here which a lot of these car manufacturers are now putting in. So that's a great touch over there. You've got these tactile buttons that make it very easy to navigate this. You, when you're driving, you don't really have a full screen that you need to look at. You've got these buttons that you can look at as well. And it's very responsive. So you can go in all of your options and you can see that it really pops up quickly. There's no delay and uh, it's got a very good responsive to it. It's got a very good design to it. The sound quality as well is really nice once you have have everything set up over here the sound quality is really good um, obviously you've got your phone that you can set up over here so you can set everything up over there and then you've got that going on for you and then you can go in over here audio and the navigation a decent navigation as well is what you get and um, you've got point of interest and everything else that you can put in over here just like any other navigation I haven't got the chance to use it as yet but uh, seems to be a fair enough unit and you do get a 3d map as well so basically all the buildings 
you can see all the buildings and it's really responsive so if you look at the way that I'm walking around with the screen just touching the screen it's really responsive so I think that's a great thing uh, obviously you've got your channel you've got your track your phone and your apps for, for all of that stuff that you can cut in and uh, you've got mirror link all that stuff uh, you've also got a very good display unit over here when it comes to the temperature control you've got a you've got the automatic and you've also got dual uh, temperature control on both the sides you get this nice little screen and then down here you've got uh, a USB and an aux over here and you've got and you've got your charging cable system over here that goes in you've also got a wireless charger which is great and this also slides out and you've got some more storage over here and you can slide this back in and your phone comes out of there so you basically push it and then you've got your phone hidden tap it again the phone comes out really well done and you've got the transmission over here you've got your gear selector and you also got a bunch of buttons over here uh, once this thing focuses there you go so you also got a bunch of buttons over here you've got eco normal and sport driving modes and then you've got the auto brake hold and you also have the ev mode so once your battery is enough once your battery is sufficiently charged and once you've got everything else you can press on this and it goes into full-time ev mode and you also got an electronic parking brake so i'm in drive right now I'll put it in park you've got an electronic parking brake two cup holders big size they look uh, really good and uh, 